Welcome to this Autodesk video on installing and configuring the ADLM or Autodesk License Manager for Autodesk Simulation CFD 2012. My name is Royce Abel and I'm a Product Support Specialist for Autodesk. In this video we're going to be covering only how to set up and install the Network License Server for Autodesk products. In particular Autodesk Simulation CFD. In other videos we'll be covering how to generate a license file, install the Autodesk Simulation CFD 2012 software, as well as installing the CATIA CAD connection for CFD. The full documentation on how to install the network license server is covered on page 16 in the installation and licensing guide. This can be found right from the installation program, clicking on the button installation help. The general steps is to obtain the license file, which is covered in a separate video, install the software, configure the license manager service and LM tools, followed by starting the license service. To install the software, there's going to be a network license manager.cmd script that will be found right within the DVD or within the downloaded package. Once you've double clicked on the script, please follow the installation wizard to complete the installation. To configure the license manager service, you'll need to be first logged in as administrator, open up LM tools, create a new license service, which will need to point to the lmgrd.exe file, as well as the path to the license file. And lastly, you'll need to set up a log file and click on the use service and start server at power up, and then click on save service. To start the license service, you'll need to click on the start, stop, reread tab and do one the following. If this is a new service, you'll need to click on start server to start the license file, followed by reread license file. If the service is already running, then just click on the reread license file because the server is already running. Lastly, I'll show you how to confirm the license server is running, and then you'll just need to close LM Tools, and that completes the installation of your license server. Other things you might need to consider, though, is setting up any sort of firewall exceptions you'll need for the license server. At this point, I'll go through a demonstration to get the license manager installed and up and running with the Simulation CFT 2012 license. In a previous video, I demonstrated how to generate the license file, which is what I have here right on the desktop. And we're going to use that same license file to get Autodesk Simulation CFD 2012 up and running. So first, what we'll need to do is install the license manager. To do that, we'll browse to the extracted files from the download or right from within the DVD. We'll double click on the network license manager.cmd file. If you have issues executing this .cmd file, you'll need to go into the en-us folder, followed by tools, followed by nlm, and then execute this .msi file. Click on next. I'd probably switch this to everyone. Click next, click next, click on close. The license manager will be installed under the C drive, program files, and lastly Autodesk license manager. The first thing we're going to do is move our license file from wherever we have it into the Autodesk Network License Manager folder. The first thing we are going to need to do is open up the LM Tools utility, followed by the Config Services tab. And in this case, I need to create a new server. So I'm going to change this name to Autodesk Server 1. Now I need to browse for my lmgrd.exe file, which is going to be in the Program Files folder, Autodesk License Manager, and then lmgrd. Then the license file will be in the same folder. And then for the debug log file, I'm going to click on Browse and just type in Autodesk Server 1.log. Then click Open. Lastly, I have to click on Use Service as well as Start Server at Power Up. And then I'll click on Save Service. Once your License Manager server is saved, go to the Start, Stop, Reread tab. In this case, since my server is new, I'm going to click on Start Server, followed by Reread License File. Once it is done rereading the license file, go into Server Status, click on Perform Status Enquiry, find the section for the Autodesk License Manager license, and then scroll down and look for the features for Simulation CFD 2012. We have the simulation CFD, which is the base solver. In the second one, we have the DSE, or design study environment. In the third one, we have the simulation CFD connection for inventor. Now to confirm that the software is working correctly, double click on the icon on the desktop. Let's go to help, 
followed by licensing and you should see in this case solver, design study environment, as well as inventor. If during the installation of this Autodesk license manager you have any hurdles, please contact the support team.